Hi guys, it's Carrie from Salesflare, and today I'm here to give you a demo on the basics. So, to start off, there's three main parts of Salesflare. Those are the accounts, the contacts, and the opportunities, which you can see here on the left-hand side. So let's start with accounts. These are the companies that I'm selling to. So let's take PayPal, for example. In the middle, I have the account timeline. This is where Salesflare pulls in all my emails, my meetings, and my phone calls with the contacts I have at PayPal. On the right-hand side, up top, I have account information. Actually, this logo, these social profiles, all of this extra info was also pulled in for me by Salesflare themselves, so I didn't have to do any of this on my own. Then I scroll down here to contacts. These are all the contacts that I have at PayPal that have linked to this account. So all of our interactions are, are listed in the middle here. If I've been emailing with someone from PayPal but I haven't added to them to the account yet, they will show up normally on suggested contacts. But if they don't for some reason, just go right here to manage. I can create a new contact, say Jane. I know Jane from PayPal, but I still have to add her, so I do that right now. Create. Make sure she's checked off, and now she's listed here, and all of our interactions are included as well. I scroll down here to my team. So Hans is also on my team. That means he has access to the account timeline too. So he can keep up, follow along with what we've been talking about, and I can do the same for him as well. If Hans weren't on my team, he could still see that the PayPal account exists, but he wouldn't have access to all this confidential information inside of it. Now up top, we have a tab for tasks. This is where all the suggested tasks come in or ones you make up yourself, like follow-ups, for example. Files, it's pretty simple. Any files I've sent or received with contacts at PayPal are listed here. And social, which is a Twitter feed of everything PayPal's been tweeting out so I can keep up to date with what they're talking about. Next, we have contacts. In here, we have two different lists, my contacts and customers. The difference here is my contacts are my personal private contacts that won't ever be shared with anyone else. But if I want to add a contact to an account, like I just did with Jane, she moves over to the customer list and these are all customers that my team will be able to view as well. Now we have on the right here, you can see Jane's picture, company, social profiles, even her positions. All of this was also pulled in for me by Salesflare, so I didn't have to waste any time on that, which is pretty convenient. And lastly, we have the opportunities. So this is a visualization of all of the sales opportunity I have with the accounts. I can take these cards, drag and drop them to different stages of the pipeline. If I want to edit an opportunity, just click these three buttons right here. Or if I click on the opportunity itself, it will bring me back to the account that it's linked to. Now, if I want to add or delete any stages of the pipeline, or if I want to create a whole new one, I just come up here and I click these three buttons, configure pipelines, and it brings me to the settings where I can edit and personalize my pipelines. So that's everything in my quick demo for you today. I hope I was able to answer all your questions, but if not, you can always hit me up on the chat down here. Thanks for watching guys.